we doing today, wheel burners? Now, I've got something going today. Um, I'm gonna give you a comparison. And as you can see by the title of this video, um, basically F the long nose and, and, and the big large car. And I don't say that in, in, in the most negative way. I, I say that because what I'm gonna show you here is just a simple comparison between two trucks. Okay, just a simple comparison between two trucks. And these are real time numbers. Okay, these numbers are verified and I'll tell you how. The first set of numbers came off a 2022 389 Peterbilt. Um, there's a YouTuber named Nevada, Trucking and Trails. He put out a video a couple of days ago. Um, on the video, he gave his stats or his comparisons from a week, one week last year and then the same week this year. And he gave all the numbers for both. Now, I don't give a rat's ass about the numbers he ran last year, but I took his numbers and before we go any farther, let me tell you, I, I talked to him on the phone this morning. He's good with this. So before you jump on me and go, holy fuck, what are you doing, Brian? No, I called Nevada. We talked about it. He's he's good with it. He says, no problem, do it, do whatever you gotta do. I, I broke down, told him what I was doing with this. And uh, he said, go ahead, I've got his blessing. So before you jump on me, know that Kyle already gave his, his okay on this. Uh, and that I reveal, it's not like I'm revealing his numbers, he already did this. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you his numbers and then I'm gonna take certain numbers out and we're gonna insert the numbers from my truck. Okay, now I could have used any truck, a Peterbilt, uh, you know, uh, or a, five, a T680 Kenworth or a Volvo or what I'm basically get going from is from the long nose Pete or the long nose W9L um, to an aer aerodynamic truck, right? Volvo, the Pete, uh, the Peterbilt, what is that, the 589, um, the T680. Um, the, the Pro Star LT, whatever. So I don't want to make this video long. I really actually want to do this one quick because we've been doing a lot of blogging and taking up a lot of you guys' valuable time. So these are these are these are Kyle's numbers. These are Nevada Trucking and Trails numbers on his truck. Um, and this is for one week, one week. And again, they're a team truck too. Sorry, I know I keep throwing shit in and and and. Sorry. Um, his gross was thirteen thousand six hundred for the week. On 5,611 miles, he burned 1,040 gallons of fuel. Um, that equated to $4,837 in fuel. Um, his average fuel price was $4.65 per gallon, okay? His truck averaged 5.6 miles per gallon. Remember that number. That all told, you take all that, you crunch all the little numbers, just fuel alone cost Kyle 86 cents per mile just on fuel. Okay, that's not any of his other fixed costs or any of his variables. 86 cents a mile is what it cost that truck, a 2022 long nose 389 p that's what it cost him every mile, 86 cents just on fuel. So now we're gonna take an aerodynamic truck. We're gonna punch, use the same numbers here, okay guys? Same numbers. So, 13,600 uh, 13, in gross, okay? That's what the truck made. Uh, 5,611 miles, same miles. Now the difference is, we're gonna take, remember I said to remember that 5.6 miles per gallon? We're gonna take that 5.6 out and we're gonna substitute 8.5. Now my truck runs average between 8.7 to 8.9. Okay, and these are pretty accurate numbers. I, I track this real carefully. But just for the sake of, of, of maybe, you know, making this a little more fair, I'm gonna go the average on 8.5. So from 5.6 to 8.5, okay, 8.5 miles per gallon. The Peterbilt drew are uh, burned a thousand and forty gallons my truck burnt 660 
That's a 380 gallon difference. What does that equate to? Well, the Peterbilt burnt four th or co cost $4,837 in fuel. The 8.5 mile per gallon truck only cost $3,069 in fuel. Okay, that's a difference of 1,768 bucks. This is for one fucking week. Okay, one week. So, all of those numbers, crunch it all down, what does that equate to? To run this truck with those numbers, with my fuel mileage, the Peterbilt ran 86 cents per mile on fuel only. My truck ran 54.6 miles per gallon. That is a 31.4 cent per mile difference. Think about it. 31.4 cents per mile, not per day, not per hour, not 34 point, uh, 31.4 cents per mile. That is leaving a lot of money on the table. That is leaving a lot, a lot of money on the table. Now, um, again, is this a shot at, at Nevada? Absolutely not. Nevada has his own business. He runs it the way he wants to. He's doing a great job as far as I can tell. Uh, I, I don't look at his books. I don't have access to his books, but um, is he comfortable with the money that he is taking home? Apparently he is. Um, and, and that's good for him. Me, um, would, I, would I be satisfied with that? Hell no. I don't know if it's maybe I'm a little bit older, a little more old school, or maybe I'm just greedy, but am I giving up 1,768 bucks a week in fuel? That's a difference. Now, multiply that times uh, four. That's, two, oh, that's almost two truck payments for me. My truck payment is two grand a month. Right, seventeen sixty-eight. That's one and three-quarter truck payments a week. I can run on the fuel savings alone. I could pay for another truck. Um, if I take that seventeen sixty-eight, multiply that out over a year, and and again, I'm not. I, I, this whole thing is not a shot at, at, at Nevada. But what it is is, and I am going to take a shot at Nevada because in our comments. He said he's not trading in his Peterbilt because it's still a couple of t uh, a couple of years too far away before the Teslas come out, and he wants a Tesla. Well, if you take 1,768 and you multiply that times 50 weeks, right? Because we nobody works 52 weeks a year, and then you multiply that by three. I think the number came out to like 186,000. I just bought a Tesla. I just bought the Tesla inside three years on the fuel savings. Bought a Tesla, Kyle, on fuel savings. Again. Um, so there you go. Um, do I love the large cars? Love them. My fav favorite truck, still the W9. Love the truck. I see one coming, I look in my mirror, I watch, I'm, a, I'm as big a fan as anybody. I'm like, as it goes by, love them. Same with the Pete's. Um, love the large cars. Would I own one? Hell no. Are they comfortable? Yeah. Would I own one? No. No. I would, I would, you know, cost be, if cost be damn, I'd be in a 680. Um, or I'm, I'm quite happy with this Cascadia. Is it as comfortable as, as my Kenworth was or a Pete is? Probably not. Um, dollars and cents and value wise, am I doing better with it than, than, than I would with a large car? Yeah, I am. So that's a big difference. So there you go. Those are. This is just a quick video on the difference between a large car and the mileage and just the money at the end of the week compared to an aerodynamic truck and the mileage and the money at the end of the week. So it all boils down to 1,768 bucks a week just on fuel. I can't give that away. I, I, I couldn't leave that on the table just for somebody else to pick up. So there you go. Uh, leave your comments down below. If you don't agree with me, if you think I'm nuts, tell me I'm nuts. If you agree with me, tell me you agree with me. But one way or the other, leave your comment. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification, uh, turn on your notifications, and uh, hit the like button. Do me that, would you? 
See you down the road.